Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading from May the 4th through the 11th. Your rune this week is the Burkana rune. Yay! This is the rune of love. That's awesome. Your stones are labradite, which is back today. A lot of people are getting labradite. Be the slayer of darkness and the bringer of light. Helps you to seek out your purpose. It clears and protects your aura and brings transformation. You got Amazonite, the playmate. Yay. Fluidity, optimism, removes toxicity and helps release and is known as the hope stone. And then we have leopard skin jasper which helps with self-healing, connects you with your spirit animal, brings harmony with the nature, stimulates the imagination, and reduces anxiety. So let's see what your spirit animal is. And this week, your spirit animal is the grouse. And the grouse card is an invitation for movement and to join the dance. That's how the grouse attracts their mate or um, defends their territory is through a dance. So you're being told to dance and move. It's time to move again. Then your stone people card is snake medicine. Mm -hmm. Release the old. Release the past. Start out brand new. Okay, and then we have uh, innocence and the inner child. Going back to how you were as a child innocence and awe everything was fresh and new the cradle board ability to respond instead of reacting taking those few minutes to form a response instead of just reacting we have the giveaway ceremony release releasing the past Releasing things that don't serve you, attitudes, doubts. Okay, we have painted face, self-expression, how you present yourself to the world, how you feel about yourself. Okay, and then we have the high priestess, harness mystic power that means make it work for you whether you pray or you meditate use that power don't forget it don't try and do things on your own uh-huh and the great teacher says learn from spiritual experiences and so let's put these all together because these are all, believe it or not, about the same thing. Release, releasing, letting go, letting go of the past. And what is going on here? Is he holding tight or is he letting go? Time to let go of things that hold you back. And that may not be other people. It may be yourself. You don't believe in yourself enough. We have a white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. Uh, we have porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. And that's exactly what the cell shield also says. Time to return back to that state of innocence 
and dreams and um, everything is just brand new. You didn't worry about things so much. Okay, and Sister Moon says that a new start is coming. And it is a time for healing. And I think that really speaks to what these cards have said. There is some kind of healing that you need to do within yourself. You do not believe in yourself and your powers enough. Once you do, things will really start moving. Okay, so we're going to place our stones. We have uh, the Birkana rune, the rune of love. And let's put that one on. It's a time for healing. That is the most loving thing that you can do for yourself and for all of those around you is to heal yourself. Then we have the Labradorite, which talks about the slayer of darkness and the bringer of light. And we're gonna put, I'm gonna put that on the grouse. Card. Remember, you're being asked to dance, to let go for a little while, to have some fun. And then we have Amazonite, uh, fluidity and optimism, and helps release. We're going to put that on the release card on the giveaway ceremony. And then uh, we're going to put the self-healing. Harmony with nature. Uh, we're going to put that on the porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. Okay. And your quote for this week. Is blessed are they who see beautiful things in humble places where other people see nothing. Okay, so um, your work this week is working on your self-esteem, Sagittarius, on how you see and feel about yourself. Love yourself enough to heal inside and that will affect everything around you. So peace, love, and light. Until next time.